so it's a crazy hair day and a crazy makeup day apparently today um today i'm going to film for you guys the new mirror makeup challenge and that would be my cat willow dude no no not right now So I have a bin of makeup here. I basically just went through all of my um, makeup stash and my mom's a little bit as well to pull out some things that I really like to use on an everyday basis. And I'm gonna be putting them on my face for you guys with no mirror. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot harder than I think it's gonna be. Um, I, I've seen a lot of them where lots of uh, people are whining as they uh, put their makeup on and um, hoping that's not gonna be me. I'm telling myself that I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna dive in and do it. So um, I'll just tell you guys the products as I'm pulling them out and I guess let's just get started. So first of all, <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be using the Bath and Body Works I Love Cookie Dough um, hand sanitizer just to sanitize my hands. I keep hearing noises behind me. That's because there's a cat on the counter. Welcome to my house. Oh, this smells so good. Dry. So to start off, I'm going to use my foundation. This is the Almay TLC Orange Blue Lasting Color 16 Hour Makeup um, with SPF 15 in the color Ivory or 120. And I really like this foundation. I've been using it for a while. I think in all of my other foundation videos, um, I'm using this one. So if you want to see it properly applied, you can go watch that. Anyway. Normally I would mix this with a Revlon primer, but today, just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to because otherwise it's going to stick to my face. And to be completely honest with you guys, after I finish filming this video, I'm going to go see the lovely creation that I've made and then wash it off. So we're just going to go with the straight foundation. Get my hair in my face. And, ooh, it's like oozing out. <laughs> Cute. Okay. So that's like two pumps. I usually just like apply with my fingers. Ease. No turn back now. Oh, it feels really strange when you can't see what you're doing. And you're just applying wet substances to your face. Ignore my babbling as I apply this. My face. Now I know this foundation looks really good when it's blended properly. So hopefully I can blend it well. It's getting like stuck in between my face. Lovely. I can feel myself becoming pretty, guys. See what's happening. It's like a caterpillar in a cocoon. You can feel the magic happening. Change. Sounds like I'm talking about puberty. <laughs> oh, let's not even go there, buddy. <laughs> I could sit here and pat my face all day trying to blend it, but we're just gonna go with it. I may have a foundation mustache right now, or we're just gonna, just gonna ignore that. Okay. Now let's go in with concealer. This is my uh, Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer, and this is in the color Radiant. I swear, in glasses. This is one of the twisty up ones. And I've also just used this under my eyes, so. Put the cap down. Don't let them go. Here. Oh, this feels very bizarre. And here. And then, a little friend right there. I don't know where to look. I'm just like, uh, gonna look off in space now. Do I have any more? There's like a little thing. Go up a little bit there as well. Hey boys. <laughs> I can't even joke around. I don't know if I put enough on, but I'm scared to put more on. <laughs> I set out hoping to not be one of those really whiny people who's going on about makeup. Like it's like the end all be all. I'm just, I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like when I'm done. I'm not even blink touching. I think that's where I put it. Watch it be like <laughs> over there. Good job, Nutley. Okay, moving on. Now I'm just gonna set everything with powder. Oh, I'm so like itchy. I always get like weird twitches when I'm filming. Anyway, you can wear me. This is the Marcel face powder um, in translucent. This is my mom's. I like it though, so I, I jack it from her occasionally. Tips on me. So I always end up breathing in like a lot of loose powder. Can you see it? Can you see it? And first brush in the whole tutorial. Which I can't find it. Um, um, too much stuff. Where's my 
Is it blended? Is it blended? I'm just gonna grab. Actually, I'm just gonna use a little thinner from uh, the pins falling everywhere. From the Wet n Wild palette, just to kind of blend it a bit. Unless it's already blended, and I'm just uh, I shadow genius. Call me Picasso for the eyes. Can we all just do this challenge and then say that it's a new makeup look and make it like a new makeup look so that everyone can just do their makeup half asleep and it doesn't even like even matter? I feel like that would be really good. Everyone will look really jacked together, but because everyone looks really jacked, we'll all look really pretty. Does that make sense? I feel like that's a really good idea. Anybody with me? Anybody with me? Maybe? Julia? No? Okay. I'm gonna use this Eco Taste Fluffy brush and just blend a little bit more because I wanna make sure that I'm doing it right. And then I'm gonna use, um, I'm just gonna do a bit of sand under my brow bone too. I'm just gonna take this other Eco Tools, Eco Tools brush because I love Eco Tools, and this is just their big flat shader, fluffy brush, wonder brush thing. It's not called the wonder brush, but it should be called the wonder brush because it's like the only brush you will ever need. So good, I love it because it's flat, but it's also fluffy, so you can pack on color and blend really nicely. I'm just like. Like everyone else who's done this channel that I've seen, overblending. Because you're just so paranoid about it. Okay, um, let's go to. I usually do my cheeks next, so let's do that. I'm kind of bored doing one area all at once, so I just kind of mix and match and move around and stuff. So, in my big box of tricks, I'm going to pull out uh, Benefit Hula Bronzer, my favorite bronzer, and a big fluffy quill brush. Um, I don't recommend this brush, it sheds like a mofo, but it's the one I have, so we're just going to work with it. Sort of like the 3D trick, and then hopefully not give myself a beard. Huh. Doing it on, on my cheek or my cheekbones. This is totally a cheekbone. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't take biology. <laughs> This is um, NYC's Color Wear Mosaic Face Powder in Rose Glow. Candies uh, Baked Bronzer and Tiki. This is my highlight. really like it. With a short Eco Tools um, travel size uh, blush brush. I forgot what it's called for a second. <laughs> I'm now going to do uh, my brows. Let's do that. With an Eco Tools um, angled brush. I'm obsessed. I'm going to go back into my Everyday Naked palette. And I didn't use some Tinsy Mirror. <laughs> I'm going to use the color Naked for my brows. Um, I've heard that for blondes, Omega eyeshadow from MAC is also really good. I've never used it. I've just always used this, and I really like it. Just a matte color. <laughs> the times that I thank God I'm not a brunette. <laughs> Things 
weird too because I want to make sure it's like I don't know where my eyebrow is so I'm like okay let's do it I'm pretty sure I just give myself a mic too I'm gonna use my brow gel, which is just a great lash by Maybelline I'll Clear Mascara. So that's more for me. Now this is the part that I'm kind of concerned about because my brows, because a little bit of this goes a long way, and also my brows hairs are really long. So if they're not placed properly, they will get really jacked. I have too much gel on too. Look, I need to give myself a little bit of tail to the thing though. I'm just gonna go with that. That feels right. Ooh, it's really cold. <laughs> Making noises help me. Ooh, I think my favorite, my, my two favorite ones that I've seen of these, these videos were um, by Bob's Beauty and Great Bear Girl. They were hilarious. So go check them out because they're really funny. Um, okay, now back to eyes. We are going to do, <laughs> I'm going to hopefully knock up my eye out with um, using Rimmel London Soft Cool Eyeliner. Okay, so my camera decided to be really dumb and stupid and stopped recording and I of course didn't realize when finished putting on my makeup. So this is the finished look. <laughs> I'm really annoyed and I don't know if I should refilm or not. <sighs> Maybe. Mm, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> I'm just going to run through the products and then stick in the footage and see if I can edit through it and see if I can make it work. Um, on my lips, I haven't even seen myself yet, so this is really interesting. On my lips I have Max Vegas Volt lipstick, which is just like a corally color. Um, this is their amplified formula and it feels really gross. When you put lipstick on and you can't see what you're doing, it feels really greasy and just not pleasant at all. On my eyes, I think the last thing you guys saw was me doing my eyebrows, um, if I'm not mistaken. So on my eyes, I put on um, Rebel Soft Cool Eyeliner Pencil in Jet Black um, on my waterline and almost poked my eye out completely. I then, just for uh, kicks, I really suck at using liquid eyeliner, so I thought for this um, tutorial... <laughs> I don't know if you would challenge whatever you want to call it I would try to do it anyway um, essentially blindly and this is the physicians formula eye booster pen in ultra black it's just like a felt tip really black liner you can see what happened with that <laughs> I kind of gave up halfway through honestly and then um, I forgot to bring an eyelash curler with me and my eyelash curler is in with the rest of my makeup in my bedroom with a huge mirror so I didn't even want a chance looking at myself because it would be way too tempting going in there to grab it so I didn't curl my eyelashes I feel like I would rip them all out if I tried to do that without looking anyway um, and then for mascara I used the makeup forever smoky lash in ultra black I said that like it was all one word <laughs> anyway I just used this one because it's my only um, non-waterproof one. Normally I would use a waterproof formula to keep my eyelashes curled, but I'm going to be taking all this makeup off in a second anyway, so it doesn't excuse myself. So it's just one of these guys. Um, I think that you guys saw everything else. I think. So I'm just going to give you a nice close-up look of me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm really sorry that my camera cut out halfway through. That's very aggravating and anybody out there who makes YouTube videos knows how annoying and frustrating that happens and that's why I usually film in front of a mirror so that I can see if it stops recording but obviously I couldn't do that for this challenge. But anyway, we're just moving on, moving on Maddie, moving on. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did I do a good job? Did I impress you guys with my makeup skills? Or um, did I just at least make you laugh and put a smile on your face? I know that I've been feeling really down lately, and doing this challenge um, has put a smile on my face. So 
that's worth it to me at least and especially if I've put a smile on your face by doing this. Um, I'd love to see video responses. Um, if you guys have done this challenge or if you want to do it, please do it. It's a lot of fun um, and it's a nice way to not take yourself too seriously. So leave it in a um, video response, I was going to say description, video response down below. Um, I would really enjoy watching it. If you have any requests, as always, please leave them in a comment down below or you can private message me or tweet me or, I don't know, send me a picture on Instagram or whatever you want to do. Um, all of my information is always down below in the description. And I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye! I am excited to see myself. This is going to be really interesting. I'm going in my bathroom. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. I'm pretty impressed actually <laughs> I was expecting worse I really was expecting worse I'm impressed with the lips that could have turned out really really jacked eyebrows are too bad they're not super good you can't really see this light my eyeliner I think takes the cake I'm really impressed. My skin looks not too bad. Eyeshadow doesn't look too bad. Not too shabby. I wouldn't leave the house like this, but I'm pretty happy with it anyway. <laughs> How'd you guys do? Let me know down below.